When a massive star, much larger than our sun, approaches the end of its life, it goes out by generating the most spectacular blast ever observed by the human eye. This phenomenon is so bright that it can outshine an entire galaxy of hundreds of billions of stars and is so powerful that it can generate more energy in a single day than our sun will generate in its entire lifetime. This celestial event, known as a supernova, stands as the mightiest explosion within our galaxy. There are roughly speaking two ways to make a supernova. The first involves a white dwarf star amassing enough mass until it sparks a powerful burst of nuclear fusion. Picture a dying smaller star turning into a white dwarf with no internal energy source. Gravity compresses it dramatically, sometimes reaching densities much higher than Earth's. Despite being half the mass of our sun, a typical white dwarf is only slightly larger than Earth. These white dwarfs cool down over time and become black dwarfs. Yet in binary star systems, a white dwarf can draw material from its companion star. As this mass accumulates, a critical point is reached, causing an explosive supernova. The second is formed during the death of giant stars. Throughout their lives, stars maintain equilibrium between gravity and outward nuclear pressure. When nuclear fuel is depleted, gravity prevails, leading to a catastrophic collapse. Rapid shock waves trigger a powerful explosion, shining as brightly as 10 billion suns. This releases vast radiation, from radio waves to destructive gamma rays, wreaking havoc on nearby planetary systems within 50 light years. Fortunately, stars like the Sun lack the mass for such an explosion. Only those eight times heavier can initiate the necessary extreme gravitational and nuclear reactions. So what would happen if a supernova hit Earth? It's not fast and ending like what we usually think about explosions on Earth. A supernova is more like a volcanic eruption, followed by a tsunami. Initially, a vibrant ball of hot, expanding gas forms, creating a dazzling cloud that shines for about a month. But this isn't the end. Dangerous scorching gas propels outwards at speeds of 10,000 km per second across the vacuum of space, gathering the sparse interstellar gas. This gas wall persists for tens of thousands of years, eventually spanning dozens of light years before cooling and blending back into the cosmos. So, what if this star tsunami hits us? Well, the damage depends on how far away it is. Stage 1. Thousands of light years away. In our cosmic journey, we've observed numerous supernovae, yet they've all occurred thousands of light years away. These events manifest as fresh stars, some even surpassing the moon in radiance, glistening for a brief span before vanishing. Aside from looking very pretty at this distance, they don't do much to us. Stage 2. 300 light years away. Around 300 light years away, things take a slightly unsettling turn when a supernova takes place. This cosmic event, occurring every few million years, involves a lone star illuminating the night sky with an eerie twilight-like glow. Though this display doesn't pose a threat due to its distance, it does impact Earth. Picture this, the faint remnants of a star's powerful energy reaching us, akin to the tail end of a stellar tsunami. While not forceful enough to cause significant damage, its effects are perceptible. Remarkably, evidence indicates that numerous supernovae have brushed Earth from these distances over the past 10 million years. This is discernible through the presence of radioactive iron isotopes within oceanic rocks and sediments. Astonishingly, these supernovae have sculpted what's known as the local bubble, a zone spanning a thousand light years in diameter around our solar system. By clearing away interstellar matter like gas and dust, they fashioned an irregular gas wall, a breeding ground for new stars to form. Stage 3, 150 light years away. When a supernova occurs within a distance of about 150 light years, we enter a danger zone with the potential for significant harm. Stars possess immensely strong magnetic fields, and when they meet their end, 
the resulting burst of energy maintains much of this magnetic power, intertwined with the outward expanding shock wave. This creates a magnetically charged cloud resembling a gigantic particle accelerator, propelling charged particles such as protons, nuclei, and electrons to incredible velocities. This implies that we're dealing with an expanding cloud emitting lethal radiation long after the initial explosion's brilliant light has faded. Should a supernova erupt in close proximity, waves of these cosmic rays will pervade the solar system for thousands of years. While Earth's surface enjoys some safeguarding from the atmosphere and ozone layer, the influx of additional radiation would elevate cancer and mutation rates. Although insufficient to trigger mass extinctions, the effects would be noticeable. Spaceflight would become impossible in the solar system, as astronauts wouldn't endure the radiation onslaught for extended periods. The precise extent of this impact remains uncertain, but a nearby supernova could potentially confine our species to Earth for generations, perhaps spanning thousands of years. And regrettably, it only gets worse from here. Stage 4 – Closer Than 100 Light Years Within 100 light years, things get worse, as a supernova disrupts our climate in ways that we don't fully understand yet. It initiates a sequence of unsettling events that unfold as follows. Firstly, the explosion delivers high-energy photons, followed by decades of radiation from the ensuing radioactive surge. These double blows severely compromise the ozone layer, our shield against harmful radiation. Normally, the ozone layer breaks down ozone, O3, into oxygen, O2, and a free oxygen atom upon absorbing ultraviolet radiation, only for them to recombine into ozone molecules. However, supernova radiation fractures nitrogen molecules, consuming the free oxygen and disrupting the cycle leading to rapid ozone depletion. Without this radiation shield, surface dwellers face perilously elevated levels of solar UV radiation, causing cancer rates to soar. Simply venturing outdoors during daylight could become life-threatening. The havoc doesn't stop there. The extra radiation decimates plankton in sunlit ocean zones, destabilizing marine food chains and triggering mass extinctions. Even graver, Supernova radiation ionizes atmospheric gas, rupturing molecules and dislodging electrons from nuclei, rendering them charged. These charged nuclei prompt water vapor to coalesce, forming expansive global clouds. In a worst-case scenario, these clouds could reflect enough sunlight to induce an ice age. The ice age approximately 2.5 million years ago is believed to have been triggered by such an event. Some researchers even propose that a supernova roughly 60 light years away might have instigated the Devonian mass extinction 350 million years ago. But there's more to this cataclysmic story. The freed electrons initiate colossal electric cascades akin to immense lightning storms. Earth bears witness to the most severe thunderstorms in eons. The resulting intense lightning ignites global wildfires, ravaging forests, crops, cities, and infrastructure. All the while, the weakened ozone layer leaks deadly radiation. Historically, ecosystems might have rebounded from a nearby supernova after thousands or millions of years. However, our modern civilization faces unprecedented challenges. Food scarcity, skyrocketing costs, and conflicts could ensue as societies grapple with impending chaos. A supernova of this proximity would undoubtedly inflict substantial damage for centuries or even millennia, potentially eradicating our contemporary civilization along with millions or billions of lives. Stage 5 – Closer Than 25 Light Years When a supernova approaches within 25 light years, we enter the kill radius a realm where the prospect of mass extinction becomes nearly certain. Around half of the ozone layer, our protective shield, would likely vanish, while unprecedented and catastrophic climatic upheavals would assail our planet. In this scenario, the devastation intensifies dramatically and unfolds at an accelerated pace. 
radiation would rapidly obliterate entire ecosystems while global wildfires sweep across the globe. The previously mentioned effects become exponentially more severe and swift. Survival might be conceivable for a select few who seek refuge in bunkers, provided they possess adequate supplies. However, the world they emerge to would be a desolate, inhospitable landscape for hundreds of thousands of years. The likelihood of human extinction looms exceedingly large in such a scenario. Final stage, four light years. Being any closer to a supernova is very unlikely because space is big. Just at a mere four light years away, approximately the distance to Alpha Centauri, the supernova's brilliance would rival the sun in our sky. Initially, experiencing the novelty of casting two shadows might be intriguing, but within a matter of days, Earth's surface temperature would skyrocket, akin to a prolonged sauna session. This blistering heat would persist for weeks until the explosion fades. In this scenario, Earth's surface undergoes scorching devastation, stripped of all life. Even the oceans, typically a haven, fall victim to the catastrophic aftermath. The deluge of radiation that ensues annihilates the ozone layer, spelling doom for any life reliant on sunlight. This event would mark the most colossal extinction episode in history, relegating life to a few tenacious survivors in the deep sea and resilient creatures dwelling in the depths of the soil. Essentially, life would be compelled to embark on a fresh start, rebuilding from the ground up. So, the pressing question, should you be anxious? The answer is a resounding no. Thankfully, the roster of stars with the potential to explode within a thousand light years of Earth is small, and none of them are in close enough proximity to pose a significant threat. What's even more reassuring is that these stars are unlikely to go supernova for several million years. Thus, your safety is well assured. However, this certainty doesn't extend indefinitely into the distant future. As stars traverse the galaxy, future generations might encounter proximity to a supernova. Yet in that era, an even more advanced and informed human civilization might possess the capability to cleverly navigate out of harm's way. Thank you for joining us on this journey of discovery. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more interesting content. Until next time, guys.